اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عدد من صلى عليه وصلي على سيدنا محمد عدد من لم يصلي عليه وصلي على سيدنا محمد ضعف ما صلي عليه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناس الحق بالحق والهادي إلى سراتك المستقيم جعل الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى الله بفضل الله ماذا ستطلع من سيد شعب الله فأزد أغسطاني سيد شيخ محمد ناظم عاد الحقاني سيد شيخ محمد عاد الرباني طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is association with good ones Goodness is with the جمعية with the group Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alhamdulillah honored us that we witnessed the month of Ramadan and now we just finished with Al-Ashr the 10 days of Dhul Hijja those are very special days and subhanallah these are cycles of grants cycles of divine mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives tawfiq success ability for those who want, he, 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 he wants to benefit he gives some people success to honor what Allah honors respect what Allah respects and because of that, Allah then gives them reward on top of that. So He gives you everything before. Then He gives you tawfiq and ability and success to do. Then He rewards you for what He gave you. It's all from Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. سبحانه ما أعظم شأنه جل في علا لا إله إلا هو لا يحده عد ولا يصل إليه فهم يحيطه فهم means there's no 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 ability for the servants in his creation to have any way of understanding something of his adama. All we can see is the effects of his actions and manifestations in this world and we see to those who Allah gives understanding, they see the they see from from witnessing his ayat in this world, they say subhanallah. Glory be to him. What is this grandeur? What is this adama? What is this Rahma, what is this beauty? And we're only witnessing a ray, not witnessing, uh, just witnessing a manifestation, a tajalli in this world. And that, for people who have understanding and insight, is astonishing. They are hayranin fi hira, they are bewildered with the generosity and the magnificence of their Lord. So what is our duty? To be grateful. That's it. Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu when he was asked, you've been given this, Sayyidina Aisha, seeing him, hatta He would stand all night until his feet start to break. The skin starts to break. And Sayyid Aisha would have mercy. Yani in her heart, she feel, feels bad for him. And she says to him, you are who you are. You've been given what you've been given. You are Habibullah. Sallallahu alayhi. You are Sahib al-Maqam al-Mahmood. Yani I'm paraphrasing. He, she's saying, but whatever she's saying, you've been granted forgiveness. You've been granted. Meaning, you've been granted so much. And this is only what he told us, Prophet ﷺ, what we, what we heard from him. What Allah is giving him, no one knows. And 
His answer was, "Afala akunu abdan shakura." Should I not be a grateful servant? Uh, our job as servants is to show our gratitude, nothing else. To be happy with our Lord, to be happy with what He's granted us, to understand that every favor we have is from Him. It's not from this one or that one. It's not from your job. It's not because of your genes. <laughs> it's not because of your, uh, uh, you know, uh, place in society or anything. No, it is from Him. So Allah, I was saying, I thank you for the grace that you gave me. Oh Allah, grant me to thank your grace. علي وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا ترضى. So we remind ourselves of why we are in this world is to understand, to know our Lord, to be happy with our Lord, to be grateful to our Lord, to to do as our Lord wants us to do, and to stay away from what our Lord doesn't want us to do. That is our duty. The question of how, then, that's something else. How how do we get from A to B? How do we get from Islam to Iman? How do we get from Iman to Ihsan? Prophet Sallallahu as Sayyidina Jibreel informed us, described religion in three different layers, and then he was asked about Asa'a. So four, Deen is four things. In he came to teach you about your religion. So, religion is Iman, Islam, Ihsan. Islam, Iman, Ihsan. And, and yakun al insan alim aw arif bi umur as sa'a. We have to know about the time we live in, the dangers of the time, the sicknesses of the time, the signs of the time, so that we may, through the prophetic lens, through Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu teaching, so that we may understand how to be in this time. The Sahaba didn't have to endure what we are enduring of fitan, of dhulumat, of darkness. They didn't have to witness these things. They had their own trials, big trials. <laughs> but, but we have here, our, according to our capacity, trials. And if we're not aware, if we're not alert, we can easily sink in this ocean, dark ocean, tumultuous ocean. We may, we may, be, we may quickly sink. That's why Imam Abul Hassan al-Shadili, he writes Hizbul Bahar. It's not Hizbul Bahar, just the ocean, the Bahar. It's Bahar al-Dunya. Is the Bahar, the, the ocean of this Hayat al Dunya, Dunya Dania? How many people are drowning in it? So, the, the, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He wants, if Allah wants to grant you an easy way to reach, He guides you to the inheritors of His beloved. He guides you to Ahlillah. Because on your own, one minute like this, one minute like that. You watch CNN, you follow one way. You watch Fox News, you follow another way. <laughs> it's like this. One party right, one party on the left, one party in the middle. Now then you say this, now then you say that, you're, you're lost. You need a guide. You need someone that no matter what time it is, no matter how dark it is, alaykum salam. No matter uh, what the, the conditions of the sea, you're always looking and you're seeing that light of guidance. You're seeing that compass pointing you. And that is the mashaykh. If you follow a shaykh in this time, it is... Not to compare, but if you follow an inheritor of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu you are following Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu That's it. That's the only way. 
And now another season is coming, the Hijrah al Nabawiyah. And we have Ashura, and then Rabi'ul al Awwal will come, inshaAllah. Are we going to be here? Allah knows. We don't know. So, wisdom is to follow Ahlillah. Once a person understands uh, this, and then he hooks their, his heart to the heart of a shaykh and tries his best to follow as much as one can, then inshallah we can all reach the shore of safety. And who comes and who doesn't come is not our problem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says uh, to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la tahzan alayhim and he says uh, in surah al-kahf we read it all the time <laughs> mashallah Ahmad he has good uh, vocals He said, don't, don't, don't be disappointed. Don't, don't, feel, don't, don't make yourself feel sad. Don't feel sad. Don't be disappointed if they don't accept. And you find that this way, every moment there are choices in life. You have to choose. Are we going to choose for truth? Are we going to choose uh, what's right or not? Everyone, you're not responsible for my choices. You're responsible for your own choices. So what will, what will you choose when you're confronted with tests and trials on the way? And what's going to stop you? There are difficult situations. There are, there are hard situations in this world. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us under the umbrella of Mashaykh. Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad, mashallah, I just uh, came last, I went to see him last month. And I'm so grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened my eyes and my heart to understand that he is now Shaykh al tariqa and the one who is carrying the secret of this way. Because we went to India one time and in India we visited a Darga, a Zawiya. And the Zawiya was called uh, Zawiya al ahrariya Sayyidina Ubaidullah al-Ahrari was the 20th shaykh on our silsila. Till today, there's a tariqa al-Ahrariya, separate, Naqshbandiya Ahrariya. So, alhamdulillah, they have the barakah of the dhikr, but, and they have the barakah of the, uh, the gatherings and the praising of Sayyidina Muhammad, that is true. But the secret uh, of, uh, that's passed on from Nabi Siddiq Salman Qasim Ja'far, if Allah grants someone to be with that shaykh, with that shaykh who's carrying that, that light and that secret, that is ni'mah ma ba'daha ni'mah. That's it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad higher and higher and keep us under his uh, gaze and grant us, we're weak ones, but grant us to be of service to him and to this way and to Sayyidina Muhammad because we, we intend our intentions. We intend to be of service, inshallah. I wanted to say, uh, continue with the series uh, of <laughs> I don't know when we're going to finish. Maybe next Ramadan. <laughs> we reached, I think, to the books, 
الكتب السماوية إن شاء الله maybe tomorrow we'll do something at the event but إن شاء الله we 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 do the khatam and we do some salawat it's Friday before uh, before Maghrib and then afterwards we join Ahmad we run around how about that شيك ماذا يا أولياء الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله صلى الله عليه وسلم بفضل الله ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الحبيب بحرمة الفاتحة